Hey, what's up, everybody? Sterling again with Vitac. We appreciate you guys. This is going to be your run through of the Adventure First Aid Kit. All right, AFAC is what we like to call it. So you're going to get it. It's going to arrive like this. You're going to notice it is a pouch that is attached to a Velcro backing. All right, you can use it with or without it. That's up to you. You can strap it to something. You can strap it to your bag, whatever you want. I'm just going to take it off just for now. All right. So when you open this thing up, you're going to notice there's going to be a few things in there loose. And overall, it should open up into three panels like this. Top panel with your handle and then all the way down to a fold out panel here. All right. So as you can tell on this right now, most of this stuff is in here in a pretty good way. But what I want you to do is actually go through this and actually figure out where everything is. Get familiar with everything in here. That's the purpose of this video. We're going to walk through it real quick. Nothing too crazy, but I want you to understand what's in here, what its quick uses are for, and then obviously keep looking back at Vitac University for individual trainings on each individual piece in here. Um, but let's get started, all right? So right away, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna go to the top panel down here. So from the top panel, you're gonna notice you're gonna have a Sharpie in there. You're gonna have what's called cling or conforming gauze. It's just a roll of gauze. This does um, seal to itself, but this is great just to be able to uh, wrap any kind of basic individual wounds. You got some drip drop. This is uh, oral rehydration salts for if you are out in the in the boonies and you got nothing else and you haven't ate much or anything like that, need some salts because you're cramping. This is what that's for. You're gonna have some band-aids in there, all kinds of them, um, assorted different sizes. Um, so just put those aside. And then, of course, you got some butterflies, um, butterflies and steri strips for you for wound closures, all right? Um, in conjunction with the wound, with those, you're going to have in here, and I'll find it later. It's probably buried in here somewhere else. It's actually liquid skin. I think it's down in here, okay? Um, actually, I'm just going to pull it out so that way you know what it is. All right. This is liquid skin right here. This little blue bottle. So that, that kind of goes together with your butterflies because when you're using a butterfly, sometimes you need to use this. It's almost like super glue, kind of help keep the wound closed. All right, you're gonna notice a four inch uh, elastic wrap, ace wrap, whatever you wanna call it. This is great for wrapping up any kind of, uh, any kind of ankles or stuff like that that gets um, you know, sprained, twisted, stuff like that. Um, it's also good as a nice covering over other wounds. Okay. Um, the other thing you got here is some eye wash. This is perfect for if you get something in your eye, but it's also great for if you do just want to irrigate your wound, if you got something in there, like if you got road rash slipping down a rock or something like that, and you want to like hose off some of that dirt, that's great for that. Kind of one of the rules we like to say, and I'm going to reiterate this through the university is, um, don't put anything in your wounds that you wouldn't put in your eye. Great way to put it. So water, saline, stuff like that's perfect. Okay. Um, and then if you go in here, you'll notice uh, you got some moleskin to cover up blister spots or hot spots before they become blisters. You also got some um, non-inherent gauze pads. Should be four of them in there. Great for it. You can fold them up, use them as large band-aids if you want to, and along with the athletic tape that you got right here too. And then you got some ViewGuard transparent dressing. These are perfect if you got to put a um, butterfly stitch or something like that over it, something. Then you can actually cover it with this. This will give you like a bacteria barrier and weather barrier over your wounds. So these are great. We call them Tegaderm as well. All right, then you got a splint, nice big splint. It's flat, it's pliable. I'll show you this in the in the uh, actual university, but you can create your own splint if you do uh, break an arm, break a leg, something like that, uh, wrap an ankle, something like that you can use it for, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff actually back kind of where it is, uh, but overall, you just wanna be able to set your kit up in a way that makes sense for you. Okay, so whatever that is for you, for me, the way that they come packed is pretty pretty much how I'd want it packed anyway because for the most part, everything in, in here isn't meant to be some you know crazy emergency piece. You're obviously um, kind of assessing the wounds and then figuring out what you need from there. So just make sure it makes sense however you pack it for you, okay? So for me, I got my Band-Aids. I got my, um, my moleskin, my gauze, all that stuff kind of all in one spot, um, along with my butterfly. And I'm gonna put my uh, liquid skin up there too, just so that way I know where, right where it is. All right, now we're gonna move into this second pouch. This got kind of some of the other stuff. The only other real bleeding things you have in here are your more bigger emergency stuff. You got a pressure dressing right here. 
All right. And then you also have a tourniquet, which I'll walk through in the university on how to all set it up. So these are your two main pressure dressing tourniquet things for uh, major bleeds. All right. These are your, oh shit, something happened bad. All right. You got a couple pack things of gloves in here. We got an irrigating syringe, so you can use actually regular water and just pump it right in there. And we got some shears, all right? These are just trauma shears you can be able to cut. All right, we got an emergency blanket. And we got a triangle bandage, all right? And tape, athletic tape. So the reason we put athletic tape in there versus surgical tape or something like that is so that way it has that little bit of stretch, it's wider. Um, it's still very adherent, so you can use it to dress wounds and things like that. But it also really works great for stabilizing joints that you might have twisted or sprained. So biggest injury ever is twisted ankles, all right? And then obviously knees and then, you know, even fingers and wrists. So that's why we put this in here. All right, so um, for the most part, I'd take your shears out of here. You can tuck them in here. You can also slide them in on the front of this pouch if you'd like for easy access. For the most part, again, though, if you're gonna get in here, you're gonna open it up and get right to it. So I'm gonna leave mine in here. I'm gonna leave my tourniquet in here too. And then my, my pressure dressing in this back part as well. <clears throat> and tuck in your irrigating syringe, irrigation syringe. So that's really good if you really have a deep wound. You can um, suck up some water into it and really um, use volume versus pressure to really clean out those wounds. And we're going to do a video on that too. All right. Um, the emergency blanket, guys, for hypothermia treatments, these are not that effective. Okay but they are effective for breaking the wind and they are effective for keeping your patient dry or yourself dry in an emergency situation. So um, overall, the best treatment is gonna be this over a sleeping bag or something like that for right now. Um, really, any other warm source to prevent hypothermia is the next best thing, but th these aren't that effective for that. I just want everybody to know, but they do provide some barrier for wind and rain. All right, tuck your gloves away however you want it. Triangle bandage, this is great for making a makeshift sling, which we'll do a video on, um, and a few other things you can do with it. So, show you all that. Tuck my tape away. Tape's a big roll, because that, again, is the primary injury. So, all right, next thing down here, this is gonna be all your little stuff, all right? We got, in this red pouch, you're gonna have a CPR mask. This is if you come across anybody else, but it's one way, right? So that we had no disease comes up into you if you were the one giving CPR. Um, it's good if you don't know the person you come across then things. All right, also in here, you're gonna have a little med pack. It's got ibuprofen, it's got Tylenol, it's got bismuth, like Pepto-Bismol. It's got uh, Benadryl. It's even got aspirin to treat heart attacks, okay? So there's a nice little pack to have in here. Little uh, cotton applicator tips is good to help get something out of your eye. It's also help good to clean something out of your wounds and things like that, or apply any kind of uh, medicine or antiseptic ointments. Uh, and speaking of, we got some sting wipes. So if you get stung, bit, you can wipe that. Helps keep the itch away. Um, Castile soap wipes. These are the best way to clean a wound. All right, that's why we put these in here. That's why we don't include alcohol wipes and all this other stuff. They just don't work. These work better. All right, so use these. Um, BZK antiseptic uh, towelettes. These are great just to get a quick antiseptic treatment to a wound just to help kill some bacteria. All right. And even in here, we got some aqua tabs. These are great for treating water. If for some reason you are caught off guard somewhere without water and you need to go to a river or some stream, you got some way to treat the water. Okay. Also in here, you got some safety pins. It's great to be able to pop your blisters or whatever you might need to do with it. Also, you can use it to help uh, stabilize this, help stabilize your triangle bandage, whatever you might need for that. And you got some tweezers and you got a little mirror. This mirror isn't for signal. You can use it for that though, but it's great to be able to see if you got something in your eye, to be able to, if you got a gash on your face or something like that, it's great to be able to see. And uh, tweezers, of course, for, you know, pulling stuff out, um, splinters, things like that. All right. All right, so all this stuff, I'm just gonna put right back where it was. Makes it easy, good, at quick access to it. You know that what you're gonna do. If you have a wound, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go into here, you're gonna grab your couple wipes that you might need for it, then you're gonna go up here to this pouch for your Band-Aids and or your gauze or whatever you might need. If you have a big wound, you know you're going to this main compartment here because you have to get your tourniquet and your pressure dressing out. 
okay? And of course, we're gonna go over all this stuff in the Vitac University. We're gonna make it so that way you guys actually know how to use this kit. We really appreciate you buying from us, but now we wanna make sure that you're effective with us, all right? And of course, if you guys need anything else, if you have any other questions on how to use this stuff, check out Vitac University. But other than that, you can always uh, drop us an email or drop us a line on socials, okay? All right, have a good one.